Mr. Cup. Okay, so uh, welcome to the Food Court, episode two. I am your host, Mikey, along with my co-host, Martin Wagner, Chef Martin Wagner. Today Thank we you. have Leroy from Escondite. Uh, this Leroy. Is Leroy. Leroy. What's up, what's up, guys? Big dog. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> we're going to get into your menu and your life and your shit. But first, how was your week? What did you do? Oh, very good, man. Very busy. You know, always did, busy, Martin. Did you eat anywhere? Yes, I went uh, like Vietnamese uh, restaurant in Brosar. So good, bro. Like, looks like so like I don't know like bad. It looks bad. Yes, but the food is so good, man. I don't remember the name. That helps. It's like petit <laughs> something. Petit Vietnam. Something like that. Okay. Bro, the food is so good. In Brosar. Yes, Tachero and Brosar. Yeah, that way. Tachero. Garbage. Short Street. You? Oh, that's Did a you great anywhere? cuisine. Uh, no, actually, I uh, adventured at home. Okay. Ah, so sad. Uh-huh. Sorry about I'm that. sad. No, no. I'm sad now. I love cooking at home, man. All right. So, yes. Yeah, what, what, you cook, uh, what, what do you love cooking at home? I actually did some some curry chicken. Like what? Like, like West Indian thing? curry chicken? Like or West like, Indian or like, curry chicken. Okay. Yeah, with some potato. Yeah, yeah. A bit of ginger, Everybody in the pot. Some string just... beans. Potatoes. 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 It's like the most English Spanish word ever. Anybody who speaks potato, Spanish, they just potato. say potatoes. Potatoes. So potatoes. <laughs> yes. Tomatoes. <laughs> and you, Mikey? Uh, I went nowhere because I'm garbage. I had to work so much. But I did have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I went to places where they pay me to pretend to work. Exactly. All right. Uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, did I go anywhere? I didn't eat anything out. I ate garbage food all week. And Which work. kind of garbage food? The Yellow Devil. The Yellow Devil, that means like uh, McDonald's. What is McDonald's. That? I had McDonald's. Oh, I'm shit. Gross. Uh, but Still? I did take it home. No, but I took it home and I like, I kind of jazzed it up by putting like banana peppers and a bunch of other stuff on it. So it tasted so good. So banana peppers. So banana peppers. <laughs> All right, let's get into Leroy shit and stop picking on me. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Leroy's Leroy's easy on me, guys. Why, does this, why is it you surprised that I eat garbage food? My body doesn't look like I don't eat garbage food. My body <laughs> well, looks like I stored nothing but garbage in it. So why are you all surprised? Like, oh my god! No, I'm not surprised because Mikey didn't eat a salad this week. No, I'm surprised because you always do like something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't it's, do anything this bullshit. week. This was the bullshit. first. But week. actually, it sounds Never. good. Banana peppers and a, a big mac or something. That sounds good. Or maybe yeah. a quarter pounder or something. That's a lot of meat of garbage. No, it wasn't. It wasn't very good. I was just trying to. <laughs> it trying wasn't to, good. I was trying to get off it fast, and you guys like, no, let's get back to I that. I guess I like banana peppers. That's why. Banana peppers oh, is for so gringo like pepper, bro. Me, why, why? I always take like jalapeno pepper. That's so uh, stereotypical. No, why? Because. That's because why? Name, I, every time I see you, something with jalapeno. Oh, jalapeno pepper. I'm so, I'm so, I think jalapeno I'm so peppers Mexican. is for gringos. I think jalapeno pepper is for white people who are trying to be like. Maybe, let's, right? Let's be adventurous and put jalapeno Do you remember when, when I don't have like uh, one day I like called you like, fuck, I don't have jalapenos at, at home. Yes, and I, I went I to the Provigo to get like. Uh, like all the puzzle jalapeno pickles. Yeah, I remember that. that for emergency. Like it's emergency, emergency pickles. Yeah, you're standby from pickles. El Paso. El Paso. Oh, El Paso. All El Paso. Mucho fun tonight. <laughs> sponsor us, Paso, please. We need a sponsor. Need Paso. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know the El Paso? You're welcome, El Paso. Uh, you're actually, welcome, no, El Paso. Is I know of the product, but uh, I don't touch no, it. No, so hold on. If you're going to say, you're, oh, El Paso, ha, ha, you eat that, and you no, have no, eaten I, it? I have, I have gotten some, some jalapenos because I had no other choice. There were no fresh jalapenos, and I needed it. Yep. But I know of the brand. That's you know it. There you go. I needed it. Just in case of emergency, all El Paso. Yes, all exactly. Yeah, and the refresh bean, too, so good. I like my beans fried once. That's all. Okay. Okay, Leroy. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> that was an awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll cut that out a little oh, bit. Oh, but jalapenos. Brendan will cut it. And we got Brendan. I forgot to introduce yeah, Brendan. Brando. Brendan on the camera every week doing, uh, doing God's work. <laughs> Making us look good. Putting us under the lights. It's good. It's good. Brendan's here. If he wasn't yeah, here. Nice well, okay, Brendan. Nice if Brendan wasn't there, we wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't see us. I took my son to the movies to play video games, and ah, I yeah. was so sad when I left because yeah. of all this other stuff. And then I'm sitting in the metro with my like hands on my lap, like ready to tear up. And I hear, "You okay, buddy?" And like, I, a little, and a little, like a little angel, a little voice. angel, like beautiful voice, <laughs> like a little beautiful voice, like, are, are "Hey, you are okay? you okay, buddy?" And I look up and across the platform, it's fucking Brandon and his girlfriend, Shit. or who I hope is his <laughs> girlfriend. And oh. yeah, I was just like, I was ready to cry. Like I was just like, Aww, it was such a long poor day. Mikey. But yeah, no, Brandon, I saw Brandon this week out and about. All right, let's get into. Thank you, Brandon. 
Let's get into uh, Leroy. Ah, uh, yeah, boss. Leroy. Shit, we forgot Leroy. Oh, Leroy's here. Yeah. Thanks for showing What's up. What's up? Here. Thank you. Where do you work? I work at Escondite on the uh, Drummond. Sorry. Mexican oh, sh- tapas. I know. I know. Very, like I know Escondite very good. Very I, well. I don't know why. I know. I do like Escondite a lot, actually. Me. The, I'm being super really biased, like, but really I do. Like I like the steak tacos there. We already spoke about this last week. I really like the steak tacos. Yeah, so okay. good. Uh, yeah, tapas. Tapas. What do you what do explain tapas? Well, let me put it this way. Um, it's very light. Very light food. Okay. It's not really heavy food. Like tacos you is can get light food. Ta- wow. I consider it light food. I've never seen a because thin like, Mexican. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how fucking light these good, tacos that's are. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, Leroy, calm down. Mikey, please. That's a good point. Yeah. No, but I, I consider it Diet as... Diet tacos. As, um, you don't want to... You don't want to... <laughs> lettuce. That's both... Like, no, but I mean, when you take the fucking... Like, oh, like the wrap? Like the, the lettuce yeah. wrap? Fuck that shit. That's fucked. If you ever gave me something wrapped in just lettuce, I'm throwing it at you. Like, I hate it. Somebody was telling me last week, like, oh, you can go to A&W and they'll just wrap it in lettuce and not give you a bun. I will punch at A&W? You. At A&W, they serious? will do that. I will punch wow. you in the fucking throat with all the force of Thor's hammer. I need a bun. Fuck that, no. Okay, so light tacos. Like what <laughs> light is, tacos. Because six, Which kind of light whenever tacos? Whenever we make tacos together, he and I, I put lettuce on my taco, and he's like, you fucking gringo. That's what I thought he was talking about. <laughs> Bye, Jason. Classic Jason. Bye. Tacos? So uh, I, I wouldn't really say light tacos, but okay. like if you, if you look at the entire menu, okay, like compared to... Habanera and Biru, I think you can get heavier meals. Yeah, for sure. I think we you have get heavy of, meals. That's why. That's why. That's why I consider it like like you can't like. There's no rice or whatever. A bunch of salads. You don't have any rice in Escondite? No, we don't. Mucho fun tonight. No. No, we don't. Oh. No rice. I I 100% thought you guys had rice at Escondite. No, the base no, at Escondite is the tortillas. Not. The tortillas. Okay. And uh, the tortillas, the uh, salads. The, like how was the general salads. chapel? We also stuff. have. The General Chapo. General Chapo with General some Chapo, rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be good with some rice. No. You don't think so? It's mm, what No, you because think? remember, it's not f- like he said it's a tapas, right? The tapas, yeah. what means tapas? Like small portions. Sharing. Two plates. sharing. It's a sharing. Exactly. Plate. exactly. And it, and exactly. Except for the salads, like everything is kind of like finger food. You can say because you eat everything. I love finger food. Sounds weird. The Jesus in me is not going to make that joke. Hurry up, Mikey, make the finger joke. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what? God, it's good all the time. Uh, so yeah, it's all finger food. What else is yeah, going on in Escondite? Uh, What's uh, wrong with you? <laughs> yes. What's your top three sellers that you think at, uh, at Escondite? Oh, you guys have three no, locations wait, you're, too. Yes. There's three locations. There's Where are the other locations? One location? in Drummond. One on Drummond. One that's in Drummond. You. One on Union. Union. Right and the, the other road. one is? The other one is in Laval. Laval? Laval. 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 Top seller as in what do you all think? the items or all the, the top. What's your favorite plate at the Escondite? Like, oh. what's the thing you can My. eat every single day? What do I you know, eat every day? like, it's hard to eat the same thing every single day. It's but difficult, it's but if I had to choose, it would be the tinga. Tinga. Mm. It would be the tinga. We're talking I, I about tinga last week. I, I consider yeah. that the, the, one of the healthiest things there. It's What's the not healthiest thing there? No, no, I, I don't know. Should I tell them? Yes. <laughs> no, no. no. Right? I think like general chop is heavy. That's what I was going to say. Because like, fried chicken and after you put like sweet, like yes. heavy sauce. Yes. I think it's heavy. It's good. It's good, but it's heavy. I mean, like right. for hangover He's food. Right. Like if you were like, I just... Ah, we have like... Uh, uh, they have that's the new. Not, they have the new plate like chilaquiles. Yeah. That's oh yeah, I had the chilaquiles the, last week. It's absolutely. the sauce is delicious. The the chilaquiles is the, the sauce is amazing. Actually, it's really. Well, amazing. I say delicious, not amazing. No, but the chilaquiles. I'm. Can I talk? <laughs> Thank you guys. The chilaquiles is the classic uh, food in Mexico, like Hanover. Like the next day, like you was so drunk. The next day, you the first thing you think is like chilaquiles. Man. Uh, chilaquiles is like nachos with like any kind like spicy sauce. At the Escondite, they have like guajillo crema sauce, but me, my favorite chilaquiles is green sauce, bro. Like tomatil, mm, tomatillos, sauce. like yeah. a gringo, tomatillos, jalapeno. Tomatillos. Uh, <laughs> jalapenos. So, coriander. Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. And you put, you put like fried egg or chicken or steak. Fuck. So, that's that's so, Mexican style. Yeah, yeah it's a Mexican 100% style. I don't know why I say that because I'm. 
Maybe Mexico. because I'm exactly Mexican. Exactly. We were saying the best sellers. Yeah, the best sellers. Like, what do you feel are the the public's best sellers, and then what are the the, the restaurant feel that their best items are? Because I know um, it's going to be different. It's going to be different from what the public buys the most to right. what the, the, you guys in the company think are the best that should be moving more. Right. That should be moving more, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are you what talking is, about what are people, every single item What is on the menu, menu that people or? don't order enough of that you think is should be, like, there? Like, people should be like, yo, get the chilaquiles because I know those are new, but, like, right. something that's not being ordered as much that you feel should be more appreciated than it is. I don't know, man. I, there's two items that I really love. Now, this is my personal opinion. The Don Puerco. Don Puerco? Oh, my God. It's amazing with the salsa verde, which is, like, a green tomato, yeah. jalapeno, onion. Um, it's pulled pork, actually, the Don Puerco. is like pulled pork. And the Latinga. It's amazing. It's a Latinga. It's amazing. It's always El Puerco y Latinga. Yeah. I think tomorrow we should go get some Latingas. <laughs> but what's very popular is the, the fish taco. Baja. The Baja? The Baja. Yeah, the Baja is big fish taco is Yeah, but they make with cod fish, bro. So good. You make it with yeah. cod fish? Yes. It's cod. Yeah. Fish. With cod. You say cod? Nope. Fresh cod. Super oh, fresh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what you want to hear, I guess. <laughs> No, I yes, don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. Oh, uh, what about the tofu taco? What do you think about tofu? Do you think it's like, it's good or... I like his big smile. It's like, uh, like, you're like uh, I, I don't want to be fired. I wasn't expecting that <laughs> question, but I'll tell you what. The, 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 what I like the most about that is the sauce. What's the sauce? The sauce is, is amazing. He will be able to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I have never made it, but I love the taste of it. Okay. I've never made it personally, but... Um, Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> we're, no. we're gonna have to make some phone calls about that for question sure, but um sure. i guess you're gonna have to go and try it all right yeah, yeah, yeah why you're not gonna have to go and try it, it. okay we'll go tomorrow awesome. don't worry actually one of the waiters he um he was asking me about it i was like dude you've never tried it he's like no like, i'll make you one and he fell in love with it so the sauce is amazing. He said, "Tofu lover." So waiters uh, know all the food. Yes. But well, he's tried it before. He just wanted a free taco. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I know waiters. Yeah. Bro, I need Me to too. try the rice again. Uh, what? Is it different today? <laughs> it happens all the time. Waiters, backbone of the restaurant industry. We love you all, waiters. Ah yes, I love my waiters. Ah yes. You gotta, uh, you gotta love them. You gotta love them. Uh, so scammy waiters. Is there? Uh, Thank you. So is there a protein that you haven't eaten that you want to try? Like, uh, like, like I today I was, we were talking about it and I was like, oh, I want to try armadillo so bad. Armadillo. 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 I didn't even know that. that Apparently, was it's like the best that. tasting meat in the world. But then I watched a video on how to prepare it, and I got really sad because they cut the armadillo's face off. And I was like, oh no, I forgot you'd have to like cut its face off and cut out its Entire, insides and stuff. Yeah. You cook it in this in this little armadillo shell, and sure. you're just like. Oh, it's so man. sad. So, yeah, I said armadillo. I'd still try it, but again, I wouldn't be able to prepare it. But I want to try that. You? What is what is it compared to what you've heard? I just heard it's very like very sweet tasting. Chicken. Uh, <laughs> Everything tastes I like chicken. It. That sounds very uh, exotic. Snake chicken. So yeah, the armadillo. It's, yeah. It sounds interesting. But uh, what about rat? No. Would you eat rat? No, I've probably eaten. I rat. Yeah, me I too. In Mexico, for sure, I eat dog. Oh, I'll eat a dog uh, right now. I don't maybe care. Maybe I have <laughs> I'll that eat my dog. That like a little chihuahua. Know about, but um, no, I wouldn't. If you told me it was dog, I wouldn't touch it. Really? I'd actually, barf. You would barf. Yeah, man. That's intense. I can't eat any pet. You know what I'm saying? What? It's a pet pig. You would die. Come on, it's a pet pig. Maybe. Survivor of the fittest, you're dead. I will eat you. Like I don't. <laughs> you're not gonna eat a dog. I'll eat a dog. You cat, know, I, I lived mouse. in the Caribbean for a, a, a long time. You ate dogs. Surrounded, man. no, no. You beer ate dogs, bro. Surrounded by iguanas, and it's a iguanas. Iguana. <laughs> That's on so like, Why do you want to repeat everything iguana. so sexy? I don't know. Uh, and iguanas. I, 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 I admit, I've never tried it, man. I've lived I there for so long, and I've never tried one it. Of those. And they're all over. Yeah, but on the porch, they're in the trees. For sure. I've never tried it. That's what all over. Ah, is. Leroy, you're so. Have you? You wanna? No. You wanna? No. I would. I haven't had the option. Never. Yeah, exactly. Me neither. I would, though. There's nothing I would not eat. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, I like armadillo. I want to try armadillo. You said you wouldn't even eat anything. He wanna. He wants to barf on a dog. And then I I'm, said I would I'm, eat you. I'm not because... adventurous when it, when it comes to 
to food? different food and really? proteins. Like, I've never had, like, rabbit. And You've never wow. had rabbit? Wow. Oh. And, you know, I've... Yep, I've, check, I, check. Really? So, yeah. So you're I, I remember having this conversation with you guys not too long ago about comics. not too long ago. I haven't seen you in a year and a half. <laughs> okay, that's not that's I not look at a time ago. frame. Last that's time I saw you, your house ago. was being devastated by a hurricane. And I was talking to you guys about conk. Yes, Do you remember? Conk. The, you I remember, remember the conk. conversation. Remember the conk was like that's the, like one of my. It's like a sea. It's oh, like a yeah, shell. Yeah, the conk. It's, it's like a sea. They scoop yes. it. I remember the conk. Yeah, yeah. That is one of. I love it. I just love it. Yeah, classic. Classic and you've never flavor. Oh. You guys are making fun I would like of some me. Some conk like. flavored bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, hubba, make some conk flavored bubble gum. Oh Leroy will buy all of it. Classic oh Leroy. God. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. I this is one of the most exquisite, exotic dishes in the world, man. It's Come on, Leroy. You, like, you, 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 know, oh you just said you, you barf on a dog. And now you, you know just conk? the chicken. Beef and conk, right? Conk, that's, beef, that's chicken, it. pork. Those are that's your... That's it. No, you're, and you know, we'll no, eat you're, no, more because... Was, like, what is is there a protein that you yeah. would try? And you said, no, none of it. It's all gross. Oh, that I would try. Okay, okay That you okay. haven't tried that you want to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to eat sewer rat. It may taste like a pumpkin pie, but mm, I'm not going to eat it. Uh, I, I can't imagine doing that. I would do the rabbit. I would do the moose. Um, that's regular would, stuff, would, though. Would, like that's Not to me. That's so weird. Well, not, yeah, you're not, an island not kid. There's me. not very many moose on the island. Exactly. <laughs> what island. Exactly. Or exactly. Or <laughs> depends, depends what kind of moose and what kind of or island rabbits. you're on. But would you guys try the crunk? I would try anything. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't mind. I can... I, if I don't Any like, protein, right? Yeah, I'll try it twice. That's it. First time, I'll be like, ooh. Second time, I'll know if I like it or not. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to get my hands on some conk and I'm gonna cook it especially for you guys. You guys are gonna fall in love with it. Mm, I guarantee you. I can't I guarantee wait. Oh. I'll make it all I can't wait one forms. year and a half. A Another year and a half to see you again, Leroy. I promise you, I'll make you a conk. Ching powder. on. I'll make you conk fritters, stewed conk. Promise. I'll try stewed conk. I, I promise. promise you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You want your hands? Yes. I okay, ju- I hope so, because. Yeah. Okay, Leroy, you are, you are a cook for. Like accident or for conviction? Like, like did you, you fall into it or you? This like, is what you, be you was you born like I, cook uh, or you were like ah, I will be cook today because is this what you wanted to be when you grow up? Is that what we're trying to say? Is this where you want to be when Jesus this. comes back? <laughs> <laughs> is this what you want to be doing? Like to cook him his last supper? Yeah. Uh, no. Or okay, his okay, first supper? Can we stop really talking about back. It's his first supper. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. he'll be um, hungry. Hey, if he comes back, <laughs> leave my Jesus alone. You don't think Jesus will be hungry if he comes back right now? He's like oh. I'm starving. Let's go to Taco Bell. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> you remember the question, Leroy? No. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, yeah. There's actually, more than just I, fish actually, I've been cooking. Like, I've been cooking for... <laughs> I thought he said for... I've been doing cocaine. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've been, been like, cooking. I've been doing cocaine for... Here's <laughs> that. No, no, no. I want to hear you ask the question again. So, Were you an accidental chef, or is this where you want to be when you grew up? Were you like... Not what I wanted own? to be when I grew up. What did you want to be when you grew but, up? But... <laughs> it looks like you're gonna cry right now. <laughs> I'm just tall. I just wanted to be tall. You know, I was actually when I was younger, I was actually into interior designing. Okay. That was like my passion when I was really young. Like my parents would hook me up on books and so on. But okay, but the cooking part. Like I've been cooking since I'm 13. Yeah. Since I'm 13, so that's way over 30 years. <clears throat> so it's a 30 year accident. <laughs> yes. So, so yeah, accident. like it's always been my passion. Like once, once I started cooking and, and um, everybody enjoyed what I did, I started to get more and more adventurous, started to get more and more, um, 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 like I, I wanted to do it. Yeah. Like I'm I like cooking, like I'm, like, like I'm cooking tonight, you know what I mean? That, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my second question. What do you think when you are cooking? Like, like how do you feel? Like, like what are your feelings? What's the feeling you get when you know somebody's eating your food? Like, when you look at me it's walking a, down the street, people, like, get, like, oh, that guy's a fucking dirt ball. But they don't know that I'm back there, and they come in here, and they're like, oh, this is so delicious. And then I always have this, like, weird, like, oh, if you only knew that I made that year. And they'd be like, oh, I don't know. People are always surprised. And I, like, I love the knowing that people are eating my food. Like, when, you, when I first started out, you're, you're nervous, of course. Because, yeah. you, you know, you're afraid you put too much salt, too much pepper, and they're like... <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know what I mean? Was that like, uh, <laughs> it's too much salt and pepper. Such a thespian. <laughs> Just getting right into it. Like, 
No, but and, and then uh, you know you you gain more confidence in what you're doing, and then you get more adventurous, and then my passion just grew and grew and, and grew. And then you get and fucking grew. conk, and then it's all over. <laughs> That's right, man. You, you're right. Yeah. I got that, and then I got even more adventurous because it's it's not that easy to. It takes a lot of time to prepare something like that. Right. Right. So. Uh, um, it's one of my favorite dishes to make. Okay. Definitely, That's al- along with a lot of seafood, different different types of seafood, um, and I've been doing it for so long. Like at home, I'm the cook. It doesn't matter how tired I am. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I hate that I have to be that guy. <laughs> Tandy hates. Tandy's like, so what's for dinner? And I'm like, I just been cooking all day. Like. You're getting hot dogs and craft dinner. Shut up. Like, I'm not. And what? then I would get the courage, like, after cooking for so long, I would get the courage to actually cook for events. So, like, You've done events and so stuff? Like, like, well, like, like catering? Family baby shower. Oh, like, yeah, my, yeah. My, like a, my, my, my sister's 40th birthday party, a whole bunch of people. And I would take care of everything. So I would get the confidence confidence to do that. Your sister's 40th? And then uh, about that. Yeah. <laughs> not just kidding. I love her. Um. And then, uh, yeah, so my confidence <laughs> grew and grew and grew. Started working at, at a restaurant for the first time, front of the house, not not in the kitchen, front of oh, the like house. Oh, like a shitty wait staff? No, I mean, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Backbone wait staff? No, I, I was a manager at a very, very successful restaurant uh, for 10 years. Got to learn the ins and out, ins and outs yep. of, of uh, both fields. And uh, <clears throat> the chef and I became really good friends. I learned a lot from him. He's from Chile. Really good, really good chef. And... Uh, he would invite me over to his house many times. He would cook. And I would, you know, watch what he does. He would share a lot of info with me. He was very passionate. So you know, it, and it grew even more. Yeah, it's good when you find someone that'll show you stuff yeah. to do, like instead of just being stagnant and te- them telling you this is what it is and stick to this. Right. I've, I've had a bunch of people show me uh, things that I can improve myself on. Absolutely. Co- cooking wise, and I like a- that absolutely, a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. And obviously now kids can do it. They're, there's like what Master Chef Junior, and there's like eight-year-old kids doing it now. That's my other question. Like, do you think like everybody can cook? Like, <clears throat> I think everybody can cook if they want to. I think if you put your mind to it, anyone can cook. Except I, my I kids. I think so. <laughs> my kids are. I watch Master Chef Junior, and I just like look at them with like a fucking sad-ass face. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, this kid's making like duck a la orange, and you make a mess in your room. Like, just fucking do something. Put down the Fortnite. Pick up a fork and knife. What are you, your top <laughs> three ingredients? Like, like three ingredients you can't live without. Exactly. Can't live without. Exactly. Right? Now, what, what do you consider an, an, an ingredient? An ingredient something like, you put into something to make something like, else. Exactly. Like, like when you cook something. Yeah. It's the best. For me, hands down, the garlic, the onion. And it, might, it, 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 might, it might be a toss-up between... I love cilantro, man. Like, cilantro. I gotta have cilantro. I think it's pronounced bit. cilantro. Cilantro. Creo que se pronuncia cilantro. Coriander. Cilantro. Nope, just coriander. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it's a tasa between coriander and ginger. I love ginger, ginger. too. I, I like I like to I like to add a little bit of ginger. Not too much, but a little bit of ginger in my, my dishes as well, too. So you've been cooking for over 30 years. Uh, professionally, how long? Uh, like, this is since the sole... You were actually the first person I've ever worked with in a kitchen. Seriously, so like right two here, years. so right sad, here. bro. That's, <laughs> that's sad. That's man. horrible. I feel like a <laughs> you're welcome it's, world. Uh, no, it's you got me right because of your boy. Years. It's almost four years. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. It's your almost boy. four years. Okay, so in the little and I couldn't concentrate because this fucking guy. Excuse my language, just had me cracking up like crazy, man. Like, I do. I am semi professional sometimes, <laughs> uh, but. Okay, so in the short time that you've been cooking professionally, you've learned a few things, I'm sure, a few professional tricks, a lot of and a lot of too. individual tricks on your own. Where, if you could go anywhere in the world to learn a certain food genre, uh, for a certain kind of meal that you want to master, where would you go in the world to learn that cuisine? Like, if you could go anywhere. Definitely would be Indonesian. Indonesian food? Indonesian food. To me, the best cuisine in the world. No offense to anyone. <laughs> don't worry, Canadian. No, no, no offense don't, don't, to don't worry, anyone. For it's just Canadian. my, per, just my personal I like maple syrup choice. on Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Indonesian is very, very interesting food, man. It's, it's like my, my parents, when I was younger, they were friends with a really good Indonesian chef. 
and he would invite us over all the time. And I remember uh, at a young age, I'd be like, this is like amazing food. It's like it, your taste buds just, I don't know. And um, party in your mouth. Been going to that restaurant. Mouth. Everybody's for, uh, coming. <laughs> party in my mouth, yeah. <laughs> so I've been going to this restaurant, you know, throughout my whole life. Actually, it was there from the day it closed because they retired. I was like, I have to go for the very Send last off. time. Yeah. Like, I know I'm going to miss it. Um, and actually, when he retired, um, like all his personal friends and family, he would actually call, he would have cookouts at home and try to sell some food. Yeah, yeah. And he would always call me, and I would always be there because I, I would be like, yes, count me in. Yeah. Have a plate ready for me. Give me the works. I don't care what it costs. I just, it's just amazing. I go anywhere that offers food. If someone's like, yo, you want to come to my Burmese? No, is there's there food? I'm going. I don't. This is not That's the deciding pay. factor whether I'm going <laughs> to go somewhere or not is if there's food. That's sad, right? Like, want to come to my wedding? Sure. I don't know you, but I'll go because I know there's food there. I'll bring a gift and everything, but I'll go if there's food. I'll go to a funeral that I have someone I don't know if there's, like, <laughs> food. Like, hey, my uncle died. I'll look for funerals in, online and go to, like, strangers' funeral <laughs> straight up if I know there's finger sandwiches there. I need my Uncle Charlie. Oh, it's Uncle Charlie. Your funeral so nice. is lit. Uh, name, two qualities, name three qualities of uh, a chef. Like, if you're a chef, like three qualities. Like, what do you think? Like, it's three a, qualities. Yes, of a good chef. Of a good chef. What are oh, the three right. qualities of a good just, chef? Well, no good chef, just chef. No, Don't worry about. There's it. a lot of bad chefs that you can name some shitty ass qualities. Right. Okay. <laughs> what, what is the, the mark? Good chefs. What are the three marks? What do you think of is the three chef? marks? What, what is your goal? First thing, I, I think it was really important, if you want to be successful at having your own restaurant, consistency. Yeah. Oh, you got to be man. consistent. Write that down. Consistency. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> consistency. I mean, you, 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 you have to put the same product down each and every time you put it on the plate. Cannot be different. It's yeah. The most important thing. And second? Creative. You got to be creative. Okay. Yeah, you got to be creative. I mean... Um, it, it just make make it exciting. You know what I mean. Make your food exciting. It's very you easy know, to get you know, stagnant, you though. You, right, right. And I think the other one is uh, patience. Ooh, like Lever is a motivational speaker. Right? Like, it's so hard. <laughs> he makes right? me want to be a better person. This is I mean, this is what goes through my head every day. You know, and 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 you got to keep it professional as well. I know that's four, but you got to no, be no, no. professional. Yeah, yeah. I try well, to be well, I'm professional. Out. Said, no matter what I do. three, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, you obviously can't count. But still, I'm out. I, I, I'm like one of three of those things. I'm consistently <laughs> failing people. <laughs> Are <laughs> you really like uh, a Being a, a, mar a mark of a good chef? Yes. Quality ingredients. Like being able to spot quality ingredients, I think, is a really but, good. Yes. But if you have a, like, like very good ingredients, but you don't have the techniques to Cook that ingredients. You didn't let me get to my second one. Was techniques. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was stuck with techniques, bro. It was just stuck with techniques, bro. You know what? Okay, number three. <laughs> uh, number three would be the mark of a good chef is knowing how to lead a team and not just being a boss. Like you can be the boss, but you can also raise your team because you're by yourself. I get it, but you also have a team behind you who makes you will, will elevate you if you elevate them. And the mark of a good chef will always have a good team behind them that they can lead and not just boss around and tell them to do things, I'm saying. <laughs> True that. True so that. Like knowing when to delegate, leadership. knowing when to show how to, like, you're, you're willing to pass on knowledge and knowing you're willing to show off. Just being a great leader is, is the mark of a good chef and not just a boss. There's a difference, I think. And some people a boss. need to learn There's how to a be a difference. boss so and learn how to be a leader. There's a huge difference. You raise a good point. Yeah, yeah. There is a good point. Like, like I am, I'm agree with the Leroy about consistency and clean. You need to be clean oh, and organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Or For me, like, if you are organized, consistent, and clean, bro, everything is like, everything else will fall into place. Right, yeah, exactly. Bro. Yeah. You eventually want to open your own restaurant. Is this a goal of yours, or um, like, where, where do you see yourself? in this game of food like what is your end goal having the experience and the knowledge for, from what i've seen yeah and uh also from martin learn a lot from martin I so much i've like, learned from him so, and uh it's it's a tough life he's he's, he's good at, he's good at it he's good at it he has so a, modest he has dude, a great right? assistant he's a so fucking you can assistant. pat your back you can you can pat so your back too <laughs> 
I would probably want the experience of uh, being the head chef first before jumping into that. I would love to. I actually so have plans in the works. Yeah. Um, you know, looking into it. I mean, that, that never happened, but I was willing to jump into it because um, it, it felt like the right time to do it. Um, but that's so important. To but like, um, get that. realizing, I mean, like, being on the other side now of the restaurant, in the, in the back of the house, I'm realizing... Um, like what it takes. It takes a lot to be on top so of much. your game. Yes. And it made me, like I said, I had 10 years experience in front of the house. I always respected the guys in the kitchen because it's mad work. I was just saying, asking you that because a lot of people do decide, oh, I'm ready to open my own restaurant and they have no idea what it takes. Is what would be the cuisine that you would open? Like what would be the, what would your be your specialty food? It would definitely be a fusion um, of, of Caribbean and Indonesian. Caribbean. They're very, they're very, they're very similar. They're very close to each Indian. other. Welcome to Leroy's Caribbean. By we, Chef Leroy. We got everything except iguana. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special today, Leroy. Conk, conk, oh, only yeah. conk, diet oh, yeah. conk, conk with oh, salt. That's gonna be on the sugar. menu. It won't be the special of the day. It'll be on the What's menu. What's the soup du jour? What's the soup of the day? Mmm, it's conk. <laughs> Guys, making fun of my conk. Wait, I, I'm really excited. I'll set you up one day. I really Wait. want to eat I your conk. I'm gonna make you apologize. I'm gonna make you apologize on air. Yeah, I'll come back. You know, if the conk is good, yo, if Leroy can throw me the good conk. Wait, no. I will love if the fu- <laughs> if the conk is super good, we will do a special episode like about a- talking about conk. I have you guys tasted live on the air too. Dope. I don't know how live we are, but yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll let you, you know. guys taste it live, then record you it, know. and then take it back, and <laughs> edit it, and then put it on the you internet. You know what I mean. You, you cook at home, you said. You cook at home yeah, a lot. Yeah. What if you're crushed on time, and you're like, oh, I gotta make food for everybody. What's your, like, go-to crushed on food plate? Like, you have to get something done in, like, 30 minutes, like, bam, kids are that, screaming. That is exactly what, what I was gonna say. Puncher, Me, like, I don't, like, I don't like to keep it when I cook. Yeah. Okay, this is weekdays, right? When I cook, sure. I don't, I don't keep it longer than 30 minutes. Okay, so you, I don't keep it longer than 30, 30 minute minutes. meal. 30 minute meal. <laughs> Ching, go on. All right. First thing comes to mind is fish fillet. Maybe salmon, maybe maybe tuna. You just keep fish in your freezer? You're rich, you bro. Mean? I got some food at home. Jesus. <laughs> I buy my shit like live. Like, what am I doing? Me, I, I need your tortillas and queso. That's it. Queso and cheese. What, for I, our what I'd add to that? Queso. And what I'd add to that that's really quick is. Um, a rice. I don't know. Corn. And maybe I'd fry up some uh, Brussels sprouts with that. Do you have anything else you want to ask Leroy before we get out of here? No, He's been very yeah. good. I like Leroy. Yeah, thank you, you so much. Leroy. Leroy. Thank you, guys. So say where you're at now and give us the address of uh, Escondite Drummond. You have the address? You have the address? Leroy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's uh, 1224. 1224, yes. Yeah, on Drummond. Okay. Right in the heart of downtown Montreal. What time are you guys open? You guys open for lunch, dinner? dinner we open lunch, for lunch breakfast? and dinner. Breakfast burritos? No, but that. You should bring that up. You should say, hey, I want to brigade the breakfast brigade. I want to lead the breakfast brigade. I, I'm going to tell them it was your idea. No, because last time I had an idea, my big idea was we should open Mondays. And then and that then, fucking boom. happened. And now I'm like, fuck, I wish I had my Mondays off. Now so I that's regret, exactly why I'm not bringing it up. opening Mondays now. Com- I'm not coming in 4 or 5 in the morning. Okay, so this Condito Room is open Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday. Um, don't open on Monday nights. Uh, when there's special events, because, you know, we're, we're located close to Center Bell, where all the action is. Yeah. So uh, if there's something going on, we'll open. Okay. As people call in, they want to make a reservation, we're like, okay, why not? We'll open. And uh, every other day, except Sunday for now. It's lunch and dinner. For now. Thank you so much, Leroy. Thanks, Leroy. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you, guys. See you next. See you next episode.